certain laws, demands, or commands of a government or the system in power without resorting to physical violence. Kyle, English. That means not doing what you're told without hurting other people. Stop the police play and take me explores whether or not punishment can go too far for civil disobedience. And Tigny buried her dead brother, who had been proclaimed an outlaw and was punished with no burial. Her uncle, who was in power, exiled her and she hanged herself in despair. After her fiancé heard the news, he killed himself too. When her mother figured out that Antigone and her fiancé had killed themselves, she also killed herself. As, as a result of her uncle's unfair punishment, a, train of, a chain of tragedies followed. What kind of civil disobedience, Sophocles asked, is worthy of punishment? Sophocles play Antigone explores the themes of civil disobedience. You see, Antigone buried her dead brother, which was punishment for her brother. So, being the sister she is, she wants to bury her dead brother out of love. However, it, it, it does go against the rules of her uncle, who, as a punishment, uh, was, did not allow uh, the brother to be buried. Therefore, it was ultimately civil disobedience because she did the, uh, she disobeyed the rules, but in a non-violent way. And now we're going to get several examples of civil disobedience. So is this the tree you're supposed to cut down? I think so. All right, let's do it. Well, yeah, I was going to cut down this tree. Oh, I'm up here to stop you from cutting down this tree. This was a method of civil disobedience used by people who are widely called hippies nowadays. Yet, they're widely misunderstood. All they were trying to do was stop people from hurting the land and nature using their methods of civil disobedience. Instead of turning to a more violent way to solve their problems, they used peaceful meth methods such as this to stop people from hurting the environment. Hello, I am Gandhi. I was a civil rights activist in India back in the early part of the 20th century. I tried to unite India in order to oppose the British rule. Uh, do, by doing so, I used civil disobedience to express my ideas and ultimately win India back from the British. But later on, due to my actions, I was assassinated. Hey, aren't you Gandhi? Yes, I am. Who are you? I'm from uh, Lawyer's Inc. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um... I've heard that a uh, recently has tried to assassinate you for your actions. I just feel this is true. Uh, I have come up with some very radical ideas about reforming India over its uh, British rule. And these ideas, well, they're not agreed upon by everybody. Although my actions are peaceful, I still have opposition. I see. So, these people who tried to assassinate you, don't you feel any anger towards them? Oh, not at all. They are, they're only human beings, after all. A human being makes mistakes. I believe it's better for, to forgive than to hold a grudge against anyone. So, what you're saying is you'd rather not press charges against them because you're peaceful. Yes, I'm being civilly disobedient uh, through my actions, which are all peaceful. I mean, why would anyone want to be evil against me if I was never evil? Well, being civil disobedient, I'm sure you've had some of the prosecutors. As I stand here on my balcony expressing ideas of civil disobedience. Hey, you. Here, whereas we are not being paid for this, and whereas we are 
we are on our winter break. Therefore, let it be decided that we refuse to go on with this project. Signed, Middle Station Wallace. Dustin Moser. Jeff Staunter. Oh, let's see. Therefore, now that we've explained to you what civil disobedience means, through examples, an explanation, and a definition, we're not going to do this project, Mr. Stanford. Goodbye. 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 Oh, shoot. I live that way. <laughs> you can edit that out.